Indonesia has surged ahead as the first Southeast Asian country to build a high-speed rail line. The development is part of the Belt and Road Initiative, first announced by President Xi Jinping in 2013. The monumental project has made strides in connecting China with the rest of the globe through China-led and funded infrastructural developments. This colossal rail collaboration between China and Indonesia finally came to fruition in October 2023. The rail line, known colloquially as Wush, services a total of four stations. The station's locations were chosen for their proximity to economic and industrial nodes. Halim Station is situated in East Jakarta, the country's current capital. Karawang Station, though not yet operational, is situated in Bexi Regency, an industrial hub, while Padalarang and Tegalua stations are both in Bandung, a commercial and tourism center in Indonesia. Kami dari kereta uh, KCIC ingin mengkampanyekan kepada masyarakat, ayo naik kereta cepat bus, ayo kita beralih ke public transport, ayo kita alihkan kemacetan di jalan raya, polusi di jalan raya, bareng-bareng bersama-sama menggunakan kereta cepat bus. Beyond encouraging Indonesia's positive attitudes towards train travel, developer and operator KCIC, or Krita Cherpat Indonesia China, also hopes that the introduction of the rail will bring about a positive shift in Indonesian society in general. Since then, KCIC has recorded astronomical ridership level. Ten months since it opened, Wush has transported over 4 million passengers, even setting a daily record of over 24,000 riders during peak travel periods. The number of trips has jumped from 14 to 48 since its opening, with trains running every 30 minutes. According to Indonesia's authorities, Hush has injected around 5.6 billion US dollars into Jakarta and West Java's economies over a five-year period. KCIC isn't stopping there. They've committed to enhancing the passenger experience with better facilities, both on the trains and at the stations and have pledged to team up with the government and the tourism industry to spotlight major attractions along the route to further boost the sector and Indonesia's economy.